Hi there, Big T. This is Shem Yaza again. Um, just to explain the name, it's a uh, based on a sort of a Jewish mythological thing, kind of analogous to Prometheus. It's just sort of a, a myth I kind of liked. I don't believe in it, but I did kind of like it. So I use it as my name online. Uh, well, thanks a lot for the response. I appreciate that a great deal. And um, I think I just then accidentally um, uh, removed your permission for your response to be linked to mine, and um, that was completely by accident. I'd, um, uh, if it is gone, please resubmit it and I'll accept it, because I appreciate responses. And, uh, well, and, um, thank you for responding, because, uh, like, I enjoy this sort of, um, polite conversation between people that disagree quite a lot. Um, well, uh, I guess I'm a, a liberal atheist and you're a conservative Christian, but, you know, it doesn't mean we can't be polite to one another. Um, Okay, well, and as to your responses to your um, video, you asked um, when I, I changed, when I crossed over from, from being a Christian to being a, um, an atheist. And uh, it wasn't anything, there wasn't anything horrible or traumatic that happened to me. It was sort of a, a gradual ebb and flow away. Um, I was Christian as a child, but I became less convinced by any particular dogma and was theistic for a long time, uh, and then eventually just sort of, uh, I lost it. I lost um, any sort of faith at all, and I, I just, I sort of examined my beliefs about the world, and um, I have no belief, I, I realised I had no belief in any gods, so that makes me an atheist. It's not any particular hatred of religion or a god figure, it's just um, I don't have belief, I don't believe, I don't disbelieve as such, but I just, I don't believe. That's how it is. Um, I have a video called, um, The Theist I Was, and that's, um, if you're interested, please feel free to check it out. Um, and it comes down to faith in a lot of ways. Like, um, I don't like my faith to be in things that I can't tell exist. Uh, I have some faith in different things, like, um, I've uh, I found that like uh, seeing expecting the best from people and sort of seeing the best and giving people the benefit of the doubt um, yeah is good it, it brings out the best in people in general and um, so I guess that's sort of an act of faith but I've seen evidence for that I've seen when you give people the benefit of the doubt you can see better from them and you lose nothing by being kind to someone in in general anyway uh, who might not be in return. So, and that's, that's a faith I have in my fellow man, I guess you could say. So, but it is based on reason and experience, not purely on hope and a sort of a metaphysical attitude, which is what a religious faith is more like. And um, so that's my faith. Um, so yeah, that's look, a belief in God, not reasonable enough for me to, to put the effort into, so I don't do, do so. Also, I'd like to respond to your sort of, you described um, you know, not having religious belief or a faith in God um, is hopeless and has no morals because that's where morals and, and sort of any sort of give a damn of anything in, in life comes from. And I, I can see what you mean, um, but I, I disagree. Um, I have morals. I, I care about my family and my friends and people in general. I, uh, I have... Uh, I have empathy for their their feelings, uh, their suffering, their their sort of their future. I can appreciate, like I have my own feelings about things. I have their feelings, and um, I care that they are happy and that they are healthy and that they go well. And um, so, and that doesn't come from any sort of belief. That just comes from a desire to be good uh, to others, to to make them happy as I am. Um, perhaps even as a sacrifice, like it, seeing others happy is such a, a pleasant thing that, um, that why not, like, suffer a little to do so, and it's, um, I, I think that's just generally a virtuous thing, and, and it, that that is a Christian virtue, um, it is that many religions have that as a virtue, but I don't think it's intrinsically linked to any religion, I think you can arrive at it on your own. Uh, it's, it's, it's like an innate desire not to hurt others, to be, to be a good sort of to care about others' feelings and others' happiness. And um, it's possible that that's like, um, like you could say that that's a, a proof of God, let's say God has made us, made this goodness within us, but it doesn't have to be. 
Um, it could be programmed to be, into me by my parents. It could be something biological. Um, but regardless, it doesn't need to be God. Uh, it, it's just beneficial. Like a society of people who give a damn about each other, who look out, look out for each other, and it can count on each other, will thrive where one made of selfish bastards just won't. Um, so that's that's my attitude about why, why I think hope and morality are separate from any sort of religion. Um, religion might not hurt them, but I don't think it's necessary. Huh. Also, um, I apologise if one of the comments I made in my previous um, video gave the impression that I thought um, religion led, sort of exclusively led to sort of murder and danger and things, and uh, I'm, I didn't mean to say that, I apologise if that's the impression you got. Uh, it can, though, it can be, it and can and is used as a, as a motivation behind, like, radical theists um, do use really their religion to justify their acts of hate and violence and brutality, but that's not the exclusive, like, atheists are just as evil, just as cruel and just as anything else as, as any theist, like, um, for example, like Stalin, one of the most evil people we know of was an atheist. Um, but there have been many evil Christians, many evil Muslims, many evil everything. People can be evil, people can be good. I, I don't mean evil in some sort of metaphysical sense, just in a callously cruel to their fellow man, um, disregarding other people's, like, life and liberty. And um, that's bad. Well, I consider it bad. And that has nothing to do with any particular religion. I just have seen particular theists that have these traits and they scare me because I'm not one of them, so I'm possibly a target. Not to say that theists are like that in general or that atheists are not like that. I was just commenting on individuals and I apologise if I gave the wrong impression. Um, yeah. You made a comment about, um, uh, the sort of shortness of life in, in comparison to the not life, like I'll, I will be dead for a very, very long time once I die, and I, I agree, but I also happen to believe that I won't exist, so I won't suffer from that. So I, I figure like an emphasis on our life is, good, is a good thing. And you pointed out that, well, heaven will be so pleasant and hell will be so unpleasant, so why take the risk of hell? Well, I don't think that's a a good enough excuse because there are a lot of religions they disagree on what is good what is bad and what will get you into hell what will get you into heaven or whatever the cultural equivalent thing is like muslims radical muslims will say that um you as a christian or me as an atheist are both equally damned to hell um because we don't accept like allah as the one god and muhammad as his prophet and um so and that's just as good an ex uh, just as good as reason just it's a fervently maybe pleasant belief held by people like that you know Jesus is their saviour and he will protect you and take you into heaven um, but it's not just because some people believe it strongly is not enough for me it needs to have some sort of real evidence I just haven't seen it um, I hope that if you're right if there is a merciful God in charge of the universe he will see that I did the best I could given what I had um, maybe I could have been much a better person and will forgive me my mistakes and um, explain it to me after my death and say, look, you know, here, it's truth and I'll, I'll happily apologise. Like, if it turns out that that's something like that is true and I see you in heaven later, I'll say, look, I'm sorry, you're all right. But till then, I really don't see any reason to. I'll remain an atheist. And yeah, finally to the, the morons comment, um, you made a statement about atheists in general and then said these morons. Now, I understand you weren't talking to me particularly. You were saying atheists in general about the attitude. And I'm willing to accept that. Like, it's just, you know, you say, you know, in your opinion, the atheist attitude is moronic. Tough. A lot of people think that about each other. I'm not going to take it to heart or anything. Um, but you just have to be aware that if you make a comment about a group of people, just in general, and call them a name, use a name to describe them, they may take it personally. Um, like, I try to avoid that myself, I make mistakes, but I try to avoid saying things like Christians or Americans, um, but um, that's all there is to it. So, well, thank you again for the um, reply, and if, if I've somehow accidentally deleted your reply, feel free to reconnect, I'm, it's just a mistake. So, have a good day, see you later.